What's going on guys, as you guys can see I'm at the front of my house, I've actually had a couple of day break off YouTube, kind of hanging out. To be honest, I've been playing World War 2, that thing is awesome. I was streaming on Barzi's YouTube the other night with him, which is really cool, so I want to stream on this YouTube as well. You know I need to go out and buy a camera to do that kind of stuff, but I have my boy Reese Jones from Syndicate Street Store staying at my house for the next couple of days, so you know, he used to hit the clips and, and film montages on COD, so... We might smash it together. Reese has a little bit of an injured ankle, so we're gonna get his ankle nice and warmed up. We're meeting up with ACOD as well, which he needs a new deck apparently, because his is ruined and some new wheels. So I'm gonna be hooking him up with a deck and wheels. We're gonna get today rolling. So we have no actual plans for today. It's really, really nice outside, which is really surprising, because it's been pretty crap the last couple of days in Melbourne. This is Reese's second time in Melbourne. He hasn't really explored many things. That's... What are you doing? So this is Reese's second time in Melbourne, hasn't really explored too much stuff, he's been in a little bit of street spots and some parks, he's been in some parks, right? I'm in a bunker apparently, that's pretty yeah, much it. and Riverside. And Riverside. So we're going to go explore a little bit and then that's pretty much it, we're going to hit some spots maybe later in the week, so stay tuned for that one guys. Rock up the Frankston, we've got the boys down here which is good, Reese is just fixing his scooter up, getting it ready to get shredding. we got Matt over here as well, some ways over there. But what we're going to do is we're going to set the camera down like usual, have a bit of a warm up, get some clips on this thing right here, right here. Yeah. Sorry, this probably isn't zoomed in or focused, but I did film what I wanted to say with the microphone off. So I'm going to say it right now. We're going to session ledge right behind me. Less talking, more writing. Let's get it. Some warmed up now, we're going to shred the bowl probably. Keep finishing off with this ledge session because it's pretty fun. So, I'm going to sit the camera down, continue to shred, and then I'll switch up to the GoPro. So, I'm sure you guys will see me on that GoPro in two seconds. We've got very limited battery life on this, so let's see how many clips we can get.
So we're going to a school now. I probably won't end up filming at the school. I'm kind of weird about filming at spots or schools purely because I don't want to expose the spot on a different level. If I go film a part, you know, I might only film one trick there. I'm not there for like five minutes and you kind of can understand where I'm at. So I don't want to risk ruining a spot or getting that spot taken away. So we might film there, I don't know, but I'll see you guys in two seconds. So we got just done finished up at the school. Reese ended up getting a clip, which is really cool. I didn't end up filming anything. I filmed the Insta clip, that's about it. But we're gonna head to Pine Skate Park, which is around the corner from my house. And then that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Well, we still got a lot of riding left to go, but it's not as big as a day as it usually is. We got Matt in the back here as well. He's gonna to come to Pines with us, which is gonna be really cool. I'll see you guys at Pines, hey. So we just rocked up to Pines. I haven't been in this place too much lately, but this place is pretty much down the road from my mum's house, which is really cool. This place, skate park is really, really fun to ride. It's got a lot of mani pads. You can get kind of creative. It's got a little rail over here. Not one, no one really hits up that much, but this rail over here where Matt's about to hit, that's the one that everyone usually rides. So right there. And a little up and down ledge, a little wave over here, gaps and stuff like that. But this manual pad's really, really cool. So it drops down, you've got like a little bit of an inside there kind of thing. Not an inside, but an out rail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat this Mars bar and batter right here. Right, right, right there. Then, I'm going to go on this scooter right here with the prototype titanium bars, which I'll talk about later. I'll set the GoPro up. We'll get some clips on that. So peace, dude. We're at freaking Titans. It's sick. Yeah, I know what you mean. Alrighty, so I just got done, finished up my session for the day. It was pretty good. I ended up filming Reese a couple of clips. Or actually, one clip battled pretty hard for that clip. It's been a while since he's filmed something, and it's been a while since I've even filmed something, so it's made me motivated to go out and want to film the rest of my part. I have a bunch of footage on my computer, ready to upload, but I just don't want to release it with the footage I have. I want to get more footage, obviously, but working full-time and making YouTube videos, it makes it hard. Like, I need to go out and either make money somehow by either, you know, making a YouTube video or working I can't really afford to go out and film a part. It's just, you know, I have bills to pay, I have mouths to feed, it sucks. And all I want to do is go out and film parts, like every single day, go ride spots, but in reality, it's just not paying the bills. So it sucks, again, like I said, but you know, this, this, this YouTube thing's gonna pick up and there's gonna be days I can take off and go out and film parts, which is gonna be really, really good. Really looking forward to that. Jazzy's in America right now, I miss that motherfucker. But anyways, I got sent a brand new pair of titanium bars. This is the second pair of titanium bars I've ever rode. I've rode a prototype pair of Envy bars back in the day, but you know, 
You guys are gonna try and guess this brand. I did post on my Insta story yesterday, so they are nice finish. They are 24 inches wide by 26 inches high. And as you guys can see, it has my name on the side right here. They're really, really cool. They're very, very, very light. I rode them for the first time today. I put them on yesterday. I had a little bit of a sesh outside with the Reese on the fight bar, the kink rail, the famous kink rail that you guys all seen on my Instagram. I'm sure you've seen it on Jazzy's Instagram as well, but went out and had a little session on that. It's really good. Whips and stuff with titanium is absolutely crazy. It whips so fast, but I'm still not used to the balance point, I guess you could say, with titanium bars. I'm still unsure if I prefer titanium or if I prefer cremoli so it's a bit of a toss up but I'm doing a collaboration with someone with the titanium bars here so by Christmas time you guys may be able to purchase a pair of titanium bars with my, my name on it so to the right of me guys I have a little bit of a surprise for you I have some parts that haven't been released yet from Reese Jones so the boys over at Native you know they're releasing this advent deck which is really really cool so as you can see you got the pegs in the back and stuff like that this thing's been absolutely thrashed they're still in the testing kind of stages and I've seen a lot of footage of the boys throwing down on these decks, so it can take a lot of impact. And as you guys can see, they're fully flat on the bottom, which is really, really cool. But I can't wait to get my hands on one of these. So, you know, Regan, hit me up with one. You know, I kind of want one really bad. But he's also got the Native SCS on there as well. And he's got the, na the Native Forks, or the Lifeboat Forks, I should say, sorry, with some Native bars, of course. So this is pretty much a Native setup. And these parts aren't released except the bars and the forks. The SES is soon to come out, I guess. Um, but the deck, for sure, the deck is... I know it's in production, so it's on the way, ready to be sold any day now. And this thing looks absolutely awesome. It's 5.1 inches by 22 inches long, and they do come in a diff two different sizes. So you can get 5.1 by 22, and 5.1 by 23 as well. You may be able to get some other sizes. I'm not quite sure, because I haven't really had a chat to Regan about other sizes. I just know... Then I want a 5x22, so you know, slide into my DMs, Regan, you know where I'm at. We talk quite frequently, so you know, give me one of these bad boys, because they look absolutely beautiful. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I had a really sweet day hanging out with Reese. It's good to have him down here from Syndicate Street Store. He is the man. Shout out to Syndicate, you boys are the best. Here we go right here. I support the homies. They're doing it large. I really, really envy them. I really want to open my own store and start my own brand like the boys are doing. I'm working hard to kind of get there. So this whole YouTube thing is just the beginning, guys. It's just the beginning, like, bigger bigger goals are being set. So this YouTube thing is just a tiny, tiny little portion of it. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that kind of good stuff. So peace, dudes.